Hey, what's up, y'all? So first things first, you're going to need some salt. And you're going to sprinkle the salt all over the pan so that it can be underneath the potatoes. So first things first, I'm going to grab the potatoes and I'm going to wash them thoroughly with water. And after I wash them with water and take them out the packaging, I'm going to place them in the pan. So I'm going to grab a fork and I'm going to take this fork and poke holes all over the potato front and back just so that, you know, that heat can get to it once it gets in the oven. Then you want to take a stick of butter and you want to rub it all over the potato, like polish the potato with butter. Right after I finish adding the butter, I'm going to add a little bit more salt and I'm going to place the potatoes in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. While the potatoes are cooking for an hour and 15 minutes, I'm going to wash the shrimp. I'm going to devein the shrimp and I'm going to cut the tail off on the shrimp. And I'm gonna place them in the bowl. I also want to mention that I bought the shrimp for only five dollars. I must say I love to cook and I love to eat, but this is my least favorite part about cooking shrimp is taking off the tail and deveining the shrimp. Ugh. So as you can see here, I decided to check on the potatoes, and they're looking good so far. So we're going to melt some butter. So I'm going to start placing my shrimp in the pan and I'm going to season my shrimp after I place it in the pan. And, you know, you can even do it before you actually put them in the pan, whichever way works for you. You're going to need garlic pepper and lemon pepper seasoning, garlic powder. Cajun style is optional and black pepper. We're gonna cook the shrimp for a few minutes and once we see it change color, it should look like this. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps that I just did uh, with the shrimp because I'm gonna need two um, different batches of shrimp. So I'm gonna start making the sauce. I took some of the butter from the um, shrimp and I'm applying the heavy whipping cream. And I'm only gonna apply a little bit of that there. You wanna keep all of the seasoning from the shrimp inside of that so it can give it extra flavor. And I'm gonna stir it up and mix it and apply the um, some of the shrimp in there. Then after I finish applying some of the shrimp, I'm going to stir it up, cook it for a few minutes, and then I'm going to apply cheese. So I'm going to add pepper jack cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and mozzarella. You know, whatever you want to add is optional. But while that's cooking for a few minutes, I'm going to check on my steak. <laughs> yes, I was cooking steak too. And I'm just adding some more sauce on top of the steak. Looks yummy, right? All right, y'all. So the potatoes are ready. Um, They've been in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm just going to take the potato and cut them in half. And I'm going to take all of the filling inside of the potato. And I'm going to mix it up. Then I'm going to add a little bit of butter inside the potato because I want to taste that butter inside the potato. And then I'm going to go back in and then I'm going to add some ranch dressing. Y'all, it is so delicious. Oh my God. Mm. And last but not least, you want to mix it up and you want to go back and add that shrimp sauce along with the shrimp inside of the potato and you want to apply it inside of the potato and after you apply it inside the potato you're going to add the cheese on top and after you add the cheese on top 
we're going to put another layer of shrimp over the cheese and then we're going to add some more cheese on top and then you want to pop it in the microwave for about mm, three to four minutes and there you have it